Hello investors and traders, today I'll speak about Silicon Valley Bank, about its uh, bankruptcy and what will happen the, uh, the next with uh, Silicon Valley Bank. So if you look at the chart now, it's uh, the last trading day, it's uh, Silicon Valley Group with the ticker SIVB down the more than 60%, so most probably going to bankruptcy. So today I'll speak about the reasons why it happens and what uh, can be next uh, for this uh, bank. So the financial institution best known for its relationship uh, with high-flying world technology startups and venture capital, Silicon Valley Bank experienced one of the oldest problems in the banking a bank run, which led to its uh, failure on uh, Friday. Its uh, downfall is the largest failure of the financial institution since Washington Mutual collapsed at the uh, highest of the financial uh, crisis more than a decade ago, and it uh, had immediate effects. Some startups uh, that uh, had ties to the bank uh, uh, scrambled to pay their workers and feared that uh, they might have uh, to pause projects or lay off or full uh, low employees until they uh, could access their funds. Silicon Valley Bank has uh, hit hard by uh, downturn in technology stocks over the past year as well as the F Federal Reserve aggressive plan to increase interest rates uh, to combat inflation. The bank bought billions of dollars worth of bond over the past uh, couple of years using customers' deposit as a typical bank uh, uh, would normally operate. These investments are typically safe, but the value of uh, those investments fell because they paid lower interest rates than the debt a comparable bond would pay if issued in the today's uh, high interest rate environment. So, of course, it's uh, related. Uh, we, for example, the US Treasury bond yield, if it's uh, uh, yield of 4% uh, 5% the value of the bond itself is decreasing so actually it's what happened to this bank they bought a lot of uh, a lot of bonds and the value of this bond uh, because of rising interest rate are uh, the value itself uh, actually decreased so typically is that it's not an issue because banks hold uh, on to uh, dust for a long time unless they have to sell them in an emergency but Silicon Valley customers were larger startups and uh, other tech-centric uh, companies uh, that uh, started becoming um, neither for cash over the past year. Venture capital funding was drying up. Companies were not able to get additional rounds of funding for unprofitable business and therefore had to tape uh, their existing funds. Often a deposit with Silicon Valley Bank, which sat in the center of the tech startup universe. So Silicon Valley's customers started withdrawing their deposits. Initially, uh, that uh, wasn't a huge issue, but the withdrawal started requiring the bank to start selling uh, its own assets to meet the customer withdrawal request. Because this uh, bank were larger business and the, the, the wealthy, they likely were more fearful of a bank failure since uh, their deposits were over 250 um, uh, bucks, which is the government imposed limit on uh, deposit insurance. That requires selling typically safe uh, bonds uh, at a loss and thus uh, losses added up to the point that uh, the bank became effectively insolvent. The bank tried to raise additional capital throughout outside investors, but was unable to find them. So the fancy tech focused bank was brought down by the oldest issue in banking. A good uh, uh, old uh, run uh, on the bank. Bank regulators had uh, no other choice but to size Silicon Valley bank assets to protect the assets and the deposits uh, till uh, remaining at the bank. So we see that uh, most of the customers of this bank were, uh, were startups and uh, venture capital. So of course, uh, you know, uh, the, the relationship is higher, the uh, yield, the higher the risk. So of course, uh, I, uh, usually uh, sometimes it's happened in the market. Uh, even uh, this market, if I'm not mistaken, it was the 16 large uh, US bank. So actually it's a huge bank. Now it's current uh, 
uh, market uh, cap about 2 billion bucks but look it uh, from its high level by the way it's down more than 80 percent so yeah most probably going to ban bankruptcy but let's uh, maybe think what can be next at the moment all uh, of that uh, money can be accessed and likely will uh, have to be released in an ordinary process but many businesses cannot wait weeks uh, to get uh, access to, uh, to funds to meet uh, payroll and office expenses and maybe it could lead uh, to uh, fallouts or layoffs so to uh, there is uh, no uh, buyer of uh, this bank typically bank regulators look for a stronger bank to take uh, on the asset of failure bank but in this case another bank hasn't uh, stepped forward a bank buying a silicon value bank could go a long way to resolving some of the problems tied with the money that startups can't get to the right now so i saw it was an urgent meeting in the us Federal Reserve or also the UK regulators uh, now searching everybody now in hurry uh, looking for some bank or some uh, maybe invest fund or some another institutional uh, uh, company that uh, maybe uh, would buy this uh, uh, this diving uh, bank so it's my uh, <laughs> analysis in my view on this uh, situation of course as I told you previously higher the uh, risk higher the yield so in this case don't forget uh, to hedge your portfolios to hedge your investment uh, of course uh, bonds is very safe asset but uh, we saw that uh, in the example of uh, of tlt look actually it's what happened to tlt maybe they uh, uh, this bank invested in uh, us treasury bond but last year it's down uh, for its high level more than 40% uh, maybe it can be uh, this case so uh, they invested really a lot of bonds and uh, in one time on the startups they uh, claim their money back but now uh, the, it's down more than 40% since uh, its high level so of course it's a huge problem so generally speaking it's the case with uh, Silicon Valley Bank if you like this video press the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, see you on the next time. Bye.